Across borders, thanks for coming. Queer Spike, thanks for coming. All African women, thanks for coming. RMT, thanks for coming. Educate, celebrate, thanks for coming. And again, LGBT diaspora, thanks for coming. We have the foundation, our organizers, and have and proud. And again, I thank you, each and every of you, in your capacity. As you know, I can't mention each and every, you know, organization here and all the names here, here at the world. But I say thank you to all of you. We're still here up to o'clock. Please, 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 I beg you, this is the last chance we've got to tell seven and all Ugandans. Yeah. So please don't give up. Make the noise. Send a loud noise to seven now. Musevani, don't send the bill. 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 We're here in solidarity with LGBTI Ugandans. We're here to send a message to President Museveni and his government. The world is watching. We stand with LGBT Ugandans and their straight allies against the anti-gay bill. We stand in solidarity with all Ugandans who are fighting for democracy and human rights. This isn't just an LGBTI issue, it's a human rights issue. It's an issue for all the people of Uganda to be able to live in freedom, to live their lives without the threat of persecution. We ask President Museveni to honor the Ugandan constitution which states clearly that every Ugandan citizen is entitled to equal rights and protection against discrimination. The Ugandan constitution does not say these rights are for straight Ugandans only. They are for every Ugandan person. The anti-gay bill also violates the Commonwealth Charter and the African Charter on Human and People's Rights. These are obligations that Uganda has signed up to and pledged to uphold. We're not imposing Western values. We're asking Uganda to agree to uphold the Constitution and the Human Rights Declaration it has signed. Honour the truth. Honor the Declaration, stand for universal human rights. Now the sponsor of this bill, David Bahati, has a little secret he doesn't want the world to know. He is an AIDS orphan. His parents died from HIV. And he was brought up, thanks to donations from people in Uganda, and around the world. And some of the money that helped David Bahati and other AIDS orphans was raised by gay Christians in America. They helped fundraise so that David Bahati and other AIDS orphans could have clothes, food, education, and health care. Now, all these years later, David Bahati is persecuting lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people. He benefited from the generosity of LGBT people who helped him when he was an orphan. It is now turning on LGBT people. That is truly shameful. All the more shameful for a man who professes to be a Christian. 
We all know that discrimination is not a Christian value. Christian values are about love and compassion. Not about discrimination, not about persecution. We appeal to the Christian churches in Uganda to take a stand against homophobia and transphobia, to defend LGBTI communities, to recognize that the right of every human person to live in freedom without fear is a fundamental human right and totally concordant with the Christian gospel. Finally, let's not forget that this new anti-gay law is indeed draconian. It ranks with the draconian laws that exist in countries like Saudi Arabia and Iran. There's no death penalty now, but the persecution is severe and will be severe. This law is not a new law in the sense that already Homosexuality has been long criminalized in Uganda under a law imposed by the British colonial administration in the 19th century. Already under Article 145 of the Ugandan Penal Code, anal sex is punished by life imprisonment. What this new law does is extend life imprisonment to all other same-sex acts, as well as penalizing LGBTI and straight Ugandans who support and advocate LGBT rights. This is an attack upon freedom of expression as much as an attack upon the human rights of LGBT people. So we stand in solidarity with all Ugandans, gay and straight, to demand that President Museveni does not sign this law, and furthermore, that his government repeals the current anti-gay laws, sections 145, 146, and 148 of the Ugandan Penal Code. Those laws, all those laws, are incompatible with human rights and incompatible with the Ugandan Constitution. Thank you. Thank you. Can we have a little slogan? Two, four, six, eight. Mussolini, don't hesitate. Two, four, six, eight. Mussolini, don't hesitate. Two, four, six, eight. Mussolini, don't hesitate. Two, four, six, eight. Mussolini, don't hesitate.